How can you make time to disciple your kids when it feels like you have no time? I mean, you want to talk naturally about faith. You want to read the Bible together. You want to pray and serve together. But that's often easier said than done. There are two flaws in our thought process that get in the way. Number one, we think church is the answer. We hear things like, bring your kids to Sunday school or more church, church programs or Awana and they'll turn out just fine. And studies show that it's actually not the case. Church is one tool in our parenting toolkit, but it's not a magical solution. So we think it's just gonna come up naturally. I know friends who are like this and it really does come up naturally in their homes, but for so many of us, it doesn't feel natural or just like it just comes up organically in our home. So if God Talk doesn't come up naturally in your family or if your kids don't naturally wanna read the Bible or pray with you, there's a third choice in between waiting for it to come up or cramming it down your child's throat, which we don't wanna do. It's called little intentional faith habits. And over the next few weeks, I'm gonna tell you all about what those are, how you can intentionally get them into your lives, and how it can really change your family for good. To go with this series, I'm gonna offer you this free principle. It's just the tip of the iceberg when it comes to ideas for little intentional faith habits, but it will give you an idea of where we're going. To grab it, simply leave a comment that includes the word guide, and I will send it out to you.